Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 21st of uh, May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM on some of the radio drilling of the week. We'll have a look at the CFS at the end of the video. I'm so sorry, everybody. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Of course, we will. That will get us into the uh, first half of June. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say that first video is a was our 6 a.m. UK web forecast. And we've released the European outlook as well. Check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on videos. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Fewer than 10 subscribers now is all we need to get ourselves to 15.8k. Uh, so I think we need to put around 8 or 9. We're so close. Please give us a sub. Tell friends and family to subscribe. And let's push on to 15.8k. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, okay. Let's start the vid then. Get uh, so we're going to begin uh, with the setting temperature. Oops, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, there you go. We're going to begin setting temperature. CT at 12.6. That's 1.4 degrees above average visual to uh, the night. Let's just see if that's flipped over yet. Ah, there we go. So uh, that's actually uh, gone up to 12.5 uh, now. 1.3 above average provisional to attempt. Just update it as I've been chatting. That's nice, isn't it? Thank you, uh, Exeter. Uh, right, okay. This is how the uh, GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles are looking. A couple of weeks on at Cardiff today, the red line. Is the first year upper air temperature average for Cardiff? We're starting off about average at the moment. Going to stick very close to average over next few days. Going to go cooler than average through uh, next week, though. Uh, so, sort of uh, um, a Monday. It's kind of like Monday to Wednesday or Thursday. Looking uh, really quite cool there. Uh, and then maybe a bit of a recovery by the end of next week. With those upper air temperatures back closer to average then taking us through into the last week of month. Precipitation wise, it doesn't look overly wet, but there are precipitation spikes from beginning to end, so I think there will be, you know, showers coming and going, but it doesn't look like a very wet uh, couple of weeks on way. We've had wetter, <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, temperature anomalies, uh, where are you? Temperature anomalies, right, okay, so what's happened there? Temperature anomalies from the 11th, to forget that happened. Temperature anomalies from the 11th to the 19th of May. Uh, actually, a bit below average, and most parts of Europe looking very cool as well. You've got to go up to Scandinavia and the far northeast of Europe to find um, where it's warmer. Otherwise, the temperatures don't look great, really, across uh, much of Europe. I mean, UK and Ireland, we're on the periphery, but UK and Ireland is including that, looking a little bit on the cool side. Now, precipitation anomalies from the low 19th of May, they're average to uh, drier than normal, especially for more northern regions, interestingly. Let's just win from that from Earth. No school dot net shows up still sitting under a trough of low today. So uh, the trough remains centred over the country tomorrow. That will get out of the way and we'll start building up some higher pressure from the southwest uh, through, uh, through tomorrow and into Saturday. That high pressure at Ridge is not going to last, however. Uh, and we see this with the uh, UK Met Euro run, the big night on Sunday. So uh, a weather system on the allegation, the ice bar just here, coming into the uh, northwest of the country. That will be bringing shower rain uh, with it into uh, Monday. We find that we've got a trough sitting close to the country with a station with weather front, so it could be quite cold and wet. On Monday, eventually that gets out of the way by the moon next week. You start to build up a little bit of a ridge from the uh, southwest. So eventually, by say Thursday uh, next week, as far as we get to it, you commit your run. Uh, we are seeing uh, that weather just turned a little bit drier and uh, warmer in the south. But it takes a while to get to that. I can't again show that ridge is building through the country through the first half of the weekend. But will then weaken and allow and allow a weather system to come south once that will bring showery rain and cooler temperatures with it. 
creamy early part of next week. Then Icon maintains a high pressure out to our west. Actually, has a little area of low pressure off the East Anglian coast, which keeps the winds in from the northeast. So Icon looks <laughs> a little bit grim actually for the south and east throughout most of next week, even up to Thursday. Um, you know, we've got wind in from the northeast with coastal trough of low pressure, so it's looking quite cool and showery there with Icon, albeit northern and western areas are turning drier and a little bit warmer under this uh, ridge of high pressure. GFS Midnight Run, again, shows that ridge breaks down uh, from Sunday to Monday, bringing a cold front southwards, which will bring a band of shade rain and also cooler temperatures. Um, through to the uh, middle of next week, high pressure sort of out west, low pressure to the east, winds coming in from a northerly direction, could be a bit showery with those uh, northerly winds. Eventually, by the end of next week, we start to ridge up uh, the high pressure from the Azores, so it's turning a little bit drier and warmer as we go into the weekend of the 20th, 21st of May. Although, again, we've got another trough here at day 10 sinking through the country. So the ridge is trying to build up from the southwest, but he's not doing so with conviction, and we're still getting these troughs pushing him from uh, from the Atlantic, from uh, the northwest. So we get a couple of drier, warmer days, and then a trough pushes through. Uh, this is just beyond day 10, which gets us to the 22nd of May, low pressure there coming in from the North Atlantic. So, you know, still looking quite showery, a little bit on the cool side. And then by the time we get through to the uh, 27th of May, as far as we go with the uh, GFS today, another rate of building through the country. Again, that looks a little bit flimsy. I suspect that will probably only last another couple of days, and then uh, we will bring a, another truck back in from uh, the northwest. 27th of May will be the day of our charity live stream, of course. We will be live streaming from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m., and usually so for Saturday, a very rare Saturday live stream, live stream from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday, the 27th of May. It's going to be a charity live stream. We will be uh, raising money for Rain Rainbow's Hospice. Um, so more about that in the coming couple of weeks, of course. Right, the GFS 6 then. Again, showing that a worst system coming in from the northwest as we go through Sunday, bringing a shower, band of showy rain with it and introducing cooler northerly winds into the middle of next week. Again, we've got high pressure trying to ridge up from the southwest, getting rid of that trough of low. So through the second half of next week, it does turn a little bit drier and warmer under that ridge of high pressure. How long does the ridge last? Well, it's still in there. Uh, to day 9, which is the 20th of May, but by day 10, it's weakening again, allowing another trough to push down from uh, the northwest. Beyond that, beyond day 10, rather cool, rather showery conditions, taking us right way up to uh, 27th of May, which is the uh, which is the final day of this GFS run today, as far as we get to. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? And let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth Worthies. Get them to subscribe too. And uh, we'll uh, push on to 15.8k. If you have 10 subs needed now to get to 15.8k. We are so close. Thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that for us. Right, GM again with a ridge of high pressure through the country on Sunday, but by Monday, that's weakened and allowed a cold front to come southwards with some showery conditions too. High pressure back in then through the middle of next week. The GM, as it has been for the last couple of days, much more anti cyclonic. So uh, the GM actually looking drier and warmer for next week, all the way up to day 10. High pressure dominates. So there is a possibility we might come away with a drier, warmer week than expected next week after a cooler, showery start. Um, not much of the other model output is going with the GEM, though. So uh, the GEM is either on its own and wrong, or it's on its own and, you know, it, it's the trend setter and all the other models will follow it. So it will be interesting to see how next week pans out. And then the ECM looks like this. Cold front comes southwards through Sunday, bringing back a shower rain with it and introducing the cooler northwesterly winds once again. Looking rather showery there through the early part of next week and quite cool as well. That's Wednesday, very pressure east, high pressure west winds in from a northerly direction, so a bit on the cool side. A rather showering high pressure trying to reach in desperately from the southwest through the second half of next week. 
not really with much conviction though. Um, that day 10 looks like we're about to drop him another trough at that point. So the ECM, you know, not as settled as like the GM is. Here's the precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tomechio.com. Again, lots of showers to come today. They could merge into longer spells of uh, fungi rain times as well. Tomorrow, we actually bring some uh, wet weather in from the east to uh, central, southern, and eastern parts of the country. So tomorrow, probably seems to be quite a cool and damp day um, for uh, the Midland, central, southern, southeastern England. Best weather tomorrow will be in the north and the west. By Saturday, we're into dry dishes across the country. However, by Sunday, in comes this cold front that brings show showery rain with it. Um, and then into the open next week, just when you rather shower, yes, you do see a little bit of green there over northern England, over the Pennine, a little bit of snow <laughs> being indicated there on Monday. Uh, could be quite a quite a cool or even cold and showery day on uh, Monday, I'm afraid. And uh, we just keep those uh, showering quite cool conditions into a meal pub next week before the potential recovers a bit later next week. But it's stay shower. It doesn't completely settle down all the way up to day 10. You know, there are the showery bursts not all that far away. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. For day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 21st of a quite a few to get through. So 14 members of the ECM ensembles have a ridge of high pressure from the southwest to the northeast with a low over France and in the North Atlantic. That is trying to settle down, but you bring in the wind from the northeast. It could be a little bit cool and showery for more southern and eastern regions. 10 with high pressure somewhere between Iceland and Norway, low, low pressure, uh, deeper low pressures over France. Winds coming in from the east, that could bring some quite wet weather into the south, actually driest weather is in the north with that. Nine, again, with a ridge from the southwest through the UK up to uh, Scandinavia, low pressures out to the northwest. That includes an operation run, and it's probably one of the more settled options today. Uh, a nine, uh, another nine, I should say, has high pressure just to the northwest of Scotland. So I don't have a quite a bit of dry weather with it. Could be a bit cool with winds in from the northeast. And another nine, a further nine, with high pressure somewhere between Iceland and Scandinavia, and again the wind coming in from uh, the east. So again, it's the position of this ridge or and or area of high pressure that will be critical as we get to day 10 as to the exact weather type and the feel of the weather as well. In two weeks time, these are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 26th of May, 25 members of the ECM on times with a big area of high pressure into the north of Scotland. So that brings a lot of dry weather winds in from the east, which should be relatively warm. Um, now, 19 just here look quite interesting, with the high pressure towards Scandinavia, low pressure out towards Greenland and Iceland. And with that, we could be bringing up wind from like a southeast or maybe in southerly direction. So that could turn very warm, actually. But of course, we have to watch out for the low in the Atlantic to potentially provide the energy for a bit of thunder. That's probably the warmest option out of the three. And then seven have high pressure ridging up from the southwest into west of Europe. Low pressure pushed away to the north. That looks quite nice. Um, that's a nice ridge from the Azores. High should bring, you know, pleasant weather. Reasonable amount of dry warm weather. That's going into the bank holiday weekend, of uh, course. We will be doing more updates for the bank holiday weekend. Yes, another one is on the way. Um, we will be doing more updates bank holiday weekend, probably starting over the uh, weekend. CFSV2, finally, these are 500 millibar height and knowledge, breaking down into week periods. The first week period is going to take us from the 11th to the 17th of May. The coming week, we'll have high pressure to our northeast and also to our southwest. Low pressure is across southern Europe. Winds coming in from an easterly direction. Could be a bit shy in the south, but dry as well. That is in the north and west. Week 2 will be the 18th to the 24th of May. A Scandinavian high band with low pressure over uh, Spain and the Med. Winds coming in from the east. Could be, should be quite dry and hopefully, uh, you know, some uh, warm, a warm feel with the uh, late May sunshine. Uh, week 3 <laughs> will be the 25th of May to the 31st. High pressure is kind of through the country to the north as well. 
Um, so, pretty much dry weather with that, you would have thought, hopefully. And then week four also looks rather anticyclonic. First of the 7th of June, high pressure then somewhere to the north of Scotland. Winds coming in from an easterly direction. Should be mostly dry and quite warm with that too. So, the CFS is as it has been for the past few days and is there with some of the, some of the model output too. Uh, particularly the ECM ensembles, um, the, uh, the models are trying to shift to high pressure here. So uh, we may be moving our way to something significantly drier and warmer for the second half of May. It all looks rather flimsy within the shorter range model output. So this is the confusing aspect. You know, we go through the GFS, we go through like the ECM ICOM, and, and they all continue to look rather showery, other than the GEM. The GEM is much more towards higher pressure next week and would last beyond next week as well. But other than the GEM, all of the, like, the, the short to medium range model output is rather mixed still. Um, whereas like the ECL ensembles and particularly the CFS shifting towards higher pressure. So a, a change here could be on the way to something warmer and drier, but at the moment it doesn't look completely convincing. But let's keep an eye on it. And, um, you know, we may find ourselves going into a warm, dry spell somewhat unexpectedly into the second half of May, particularly like the final week, I think of the month. Let's wait and see. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, then please can you like, share and subscribe and please show me to everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment as to know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Well Biz. I mean, thank you so very much everybody for doing that. I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow and uh, then I'm off for my uh, gym session with my uh, PT. So, <laughs> you know, get myself ready in a moment to, uh, you know, do a little bit of um, anyway, I'll just tell you, I'm so sorry, just tell you, yeah, turn back. Uh, we're going to have a sit down UK mobile forecast. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the 14th air as well. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. Um, but for this, uh, for today's 10th 14th air, I should say, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.